Hi there. So this week, uh, many of you, if not most of you, all of you maybe will be presenting your soul seeking projects. So I've been thinking about this notion of soul, which is such an interesting concept. Um, you know, ancient peoples, the Greeks, thought of soul as the part of ourselves that animates us. So people say, well, I don't believe in the soul. The Greeks would say, well, if you didn't have a soul, you wouldn't be breathing because it's what gives us life. So soul is that life principle. And then the, the medieval Christians developed the idea of the soul as a separate part of us, the part of us that, that goes to heaven after we die, or maybe goes to hell, depending on uh, how we've lived our lives. Um, but more contemporarily, um, in the 60s and 70s, soul became a big notion, particularly for uh, African American culture. Um, what we might think of as rhythm and blues music it used to just simply be called soul music. Um, and in, in that regard, soul kind of had to do with vitality and uh, life and uh, community. You know, people call their friends soul brothers and soul sisters. So soul is one of these notions that has a, a, a long and honorable tradition in history. Um, so when we think of soul nowadays, you know, a lot of things can have soul. Art can have soul. Um, of course, music can have soul or not have soul. Sometimes people talk about sports teams that are really good teams as having soul. So soul is not just a, a, a notion that it's not just a thing, but it's also, it's kind of a, a quality. It's a, a, a way of living. Um, soul is about being willing to take risks. It's about openness to life. Um, soul is about the courage to be ourselves. And in the way that we're talking about soul, with soul seeking, of course, it's all about following our passions and discovering what's really important to us, getting in touch with our gifts, getting in touch with the things that we have to contribute to the world, to the people around us. So um, we develop soul by doing just that, by pursuing our passions, by being open, by taking risks, by being willing to make mistakes, all the things we talk about all the time. Um, so. As you prepare this week to, if you haven't already, presented your soul seeking project, um, really what we're asking for, I think, is for you to just give, give it your all. Um, that's another part of soul, just giving everything you've got to something. Um, it's not so much about, uh, it's not so much about our ability to do something as the energy and the emotion, and the passion that we put into it. So best of luck this week as you present your soul projects. I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch of them myself. And just to end, I wanted to read this little quote from a contemporary writer uh, named Thomas More. And he says this, I'd like to see us educate the soul and not just the mind. The result would be a person who could be in the world creatively, make good friendships, live in a place he loved, do work that is rewarding, and make a contribution to the community. People say that the word educate means to draw out a person's potential, but I like the duck part in the middle of it. To be educated is to become a duke, a leader, a person of stature and color, a presence and a character. And I think that kind of sums up what we're all about here. So good luck this week with your soul seeking presentations and uh, look forward to seeing you the next time.